was controlling Cliff. But that can't possibly be correct. Because Higgs is gone, and Cliff is still causing trouble. You think Cliff is the mastermind? Yes. He's likely holding Amelie and the Director captive on the beach. And that's where I'm going. Wait a minute. Where's Fragile? She's safe, here with us. But so long as you're over there, she won't be able to send you to the beach. What? Uh, you must understand, Sam. While you were unconscious, the situation changed quite a bit. We'll explain everything, I, I promise. But first, you should rest. All right? Fuck rest. I'm going back to that beach. And little Lou doesn't need a break either, I take it? <sighs> Sam, you helped us extend the chiral network from coast to coast. And you dealt with Higgs, the UCA's enemy number one. We couldn't have come this far without you. But there is still one final step. We have to swear in a new president and establish a functioning government. Only then will America be whole again. Why don't you save that shit for someone who cares? I've done my part. Fuck America. We've got bigger problems now. I hear you, Sam. Government is the least of our concerns at this point. Cliff has Amelie, which means there may not be anything left to govern come tomorrow. If tomorrow comes at all. Then why aren't we out there doing something about it? I don't care what she is, only that we get her back. Right you are. Rescuing Armelie and averting the sixth extinction are one and the same. But neither will be possible unless you first come back east. We are in no position to give you orders, of course. But believe me when I say it is the only way. Sam, everyone's here but you. Fragile transported us back to headquarters. You okay? Uh, never been better. Oh. Oh. Delivering so many people in such a short amount of time is new. No. Mama, no, no Lochner. Yeah, I'm here too. Figured I should lend a hand. We're all waiting for you, Sam. No way in hell am I hauling myself all the way back there. Come on, Fragile. Let's do this. I can't, Sam. And not just because I'm a wreck. It isn't safe to use the beaches to move people anymore. Chiral spikes have become far more frequent, possibly as a result of expanding the network nationwide. Too many beaches sharing the same space, wires get crossed and so forth. You can see the toll it's taking on the network itself. With things the way they are, it's too dangerous to risk jumping through a beach. Even if I reach a beach, there's no telling where I'll come out on the other side. And I could get stuck in there. That's why I can't go to you either. But if I could get to the entrance of the beach, I should be able to get you there. The beaches are still there after all. I can personally attest to that. So yeah, you will need to hold yourself all the way back here. But once you have, I promise I'll take you to Amelie, straight to her beach. The two of you share a very special connection. Your dream catcher, her kipu. They are no mere trinkets. They are singular, irreplaceable totems, embodiments of your shared memories. Two sides of a coin, the price of entry to her beach. Dream catchers are a product of Native American tradition, that of the Ojibwe people, to be precise. They were said to ward off nightmares, to alter one's dreams. If Dooms is indeed Amelie's gift to us, her shared dream of our future, perhaps your totem is an invitation to change it, a test, challenging you to find hope amid their hopelessness. While we await your return, I'll search the beach for Armelie and the director. 
I doubt my ties to them are strong enough, but better that than sitting around doing nothing. I'll see if I can't find something in the records on the three of them. Maybe they're more connected than we know. We're waiting for you. The way home should be easier, right? Hurry back east. You already know the way. And when you get here... Oh. Oh. Finders keepers. Now, get out of there. And make sure you head east, towards Lake Knot City. There's no cargo to deliver this time. Or rather, you're the cargo. That's the mission. Gross.스피드 스켈레톤을 하나 제작을 하고 혈액팩하고 부츠는 됐고 혈액팩 하나 있네 사다리 하나 앵커 하나 PCC 하나 혈액팩 하나 더 그래 이런 식으로 가자 일단 아, 연결된 곳이 있어야 사용이 가능한 거구나. 일단 제일 급한 거는 이동 수단이야. 이동 수단 제작을 해야 돼. 제일 가까운 곳이 고생물학자는 가는 길이 너무 어렵잖아. 이렇게 넘어가는 게 나으려나? 아니야. 어, 이쪽으로 가는 게될것 같아. 
와 스피드 스켈레톤 배터리가 축축축 다네 일단 저쪽으로 저쪽을 향해 가야 돼. 오, 잘 됐다. 유리 이동 수단을 뺐자. 나 무기 없잖아, 근데. 얘네들 탈건 없나? 
이른바 이동수단 트럭이라도 스톰봄 이동수단은 보이지가 않네? 그치 혈액팩 때리는 걸로는 한계가 있네. 뛰어. 여기 위까지 올라갈 수 있겠다 범위이탈? 다 못쓰네 
Sam, do you copy? I've been looking into Clifford Unger and wanted to share my thoughts. To recap, Unger was a U.S. Special Forces operative whose retirement roughly coincided with the Death Stranding. After he left the service, he somehow became involved in the early BB experiments. However, he died before they ended. Now, while the circumstances surrounding his death are not entirely clear, I'm beginning to suspect that these battlefields of his are at least partially sustained by his enduring emotional attachments. Anger, resentment, regret. I'm pretty sure it's got something to do with the BB experiments. That much seems clear given his repeated attempts to steal Lou. Cliff seems to be driven by a compulsion to reclaim our BB, as if that will make him whole again. A compulsion so powerful that he was not only able to drag himself from the depths of hell, but bring a piece of that hell along with him. One thing's for sure, he's nothing like a BT. We need to know the whole story about his death and his connection to the BB experiments. I'll keep digging and let you know what I find, Sam. Oh, 거의 다 왔어. 이제 제작할 수 있어. Keep on keeping up. There are time IDs. Clear. Weapons i 하트맨의 연구소 여기가 자동차 제작이 가능했던가? 온라인 세이프 하우스 일단 여기 들렸다 가보자 아니 왜 차량 제작이 안 되지? 
오 낙서 여기 뭐 도움 되는 게 있을까? 이게 뭐야? 아, 지다가 망거구나. <웃음> 